In this video, we're going to have a look at transferring objects with the live link for Unreal. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is to install the live link plugin for Unreal. If you haven't installed the plugin yet, don't worry, we have another tutorial video that will show you how to install it. We're going to go to the plugins menu and go to live link for Unreal. This is going to open up a tab on the left hand side of your screen. And we're going to select the night and we're going to select the camera. Now in the lower left, you'll see a large button that says transfer files. We're going to click on this and this is going to start the transfer process. Now, this is vastly superior to doing an FBX export. Number one, when you export any character, especially with animation as an FBX and then bring it into the Unreal Engine, the load times can take quite a long time. Now, the other issue when you do the FBX export is that materials will always go with the FBX, but when they come into Unreal, they're not optimal for the best results. And the transfer in LiveLink actually assigns the best shaders for humanoid characters. Several times, Epic has spent months researching the best way to realistically portray humans with their skin, their eye materials, their hair material. And they produced a lot of high-end shaders and materials. And what Real Illusion has done has set it up so it automatically converts to these same materials and shaders. Another thing that LiveLink is doing for you is it's doing skeleton mapping. And what this means is that the skeleton your character has might not necessarily work with Unreal's animation system. So you have to do what's called skeleton mapping. Now, LiveLink does this automatically for you. And believe me when I say that this process can be quite tedious to do manually. Now we can see the camera and the character and notice that they are relative to the live link origin. If you move the origin, then it's going to move the character and the camera as well. Now, after we transfer these objects, you're going to find that there's a folder called RL content. And this folder contains everything that we transfer. There will be subdirectories for the camera, subdirectories for lights, and subdirectories for every character that you send across. Now here I'm inside the Paladin 3 subdirectory that was made when we transferred him. I'm going to double click on this CC Live Link Blueprint. What this blueprint does is it actually receives motion data from the Live Link plugin and sends it to the skeletal mesh. Now, the RL Live Link blueprint actually controls facial expressions and morphs, and it's inside of the CC Live Link blueprint. All right, now let's talk about how we bring this into the scene. I'm just going to delete the Paladin character that's currently in the scene. And I'm going to drag the CC Live Link blueprint into the scene. Now, if you also want to use the iClone Origin, you can actually make this the child of the iClone Origin. And the easiest way to do that is to either use the attach command or to just drag it under the iClone Origin here. I'm going to go to the content browser, select the skeletal mesh, and then select CC Setup. Here you can see that we're using the high quality shaders. Now I'm going to double click the face material after selecting the character. Then I'm going to select the hierarchy button. Go to high quality skin, open in editor. Now you're able to browse the blueprint for the face material. This blueprint is identical to the Mike Seymour example that Unreal made, giving you a really nice high quality skin. Now, you'll notice that there was a lightweight shader option when we looked at the options. This is for the sake of speed. If you have a slow computer or you have a lot of characters, you may choose to go with the lightweight shader. Now, it does its best to copy and emulate the high quality shader, but does do a few things to speed things up. The last option was the standard shader option. And what this is, is the standard PBR material that you use in many applications. 
and non-standard characters by default will use that, but it's also available to you if you choose to use it. 